spend the week with me as I try to build new habits and get out of a routine that is no longer serving me. I am a routine girl. I thrive under routines. If I'm not in a routine, I feel like a piece of garbage. My routine that I have currently is I wake up, I make a matcha, I journal, I go for a walk, I come back, I lift weights, I do yoga, I take a shower, I have some breakfast on days that I'm working, then I get ready and then I go teach. And then I come home, I make dinner and I watch like The Real Housewives of New York until like it's time to fall asleep. Or if it's the weekend, I'll do the same thing. But instead of teaching, I, God knows what, I usually spend the entire day just walking around. And I've noticed since I got back to the city that I've not been feeling my best. I'm not gonna say that I've been feeling bad, but I've noticed that like I'm a little bit panicky, a little bit anxious, a little bit sad, emotional, like very easily I'm sitting there crying. Like I don't really have that much of an appetite. I have a really hard time falling asleep. I have a really hard time staying asleep. I can't really wake up. I'm trying to fix that. And I wrote it down in my journal this morning. I kind of went through like this little plan for the week to kind of turn this routine rut that I'm in around. I'm filming this so that way I actually do it and I have like something to stay accountable for or if it doesn't work, I can look back on it and see what didn't work. And hopefully this helps you too. So I did this like it's a new week prompt. I'll try to find the prompt if I can and I'll put it here so you can do it or you can just follow along. The first question was, how do you wanna feel this week? And I wrote down that I wanted to feel calm grounded, I wanted to feel energy, I wanted to feel creative, I wanted to feel excited, happy, in control, and rested. And then my intentions for the week, it's hard for me to know the difference between an intention and a goal. And I think how I've started to go about it is like an intention is something broad, like I want to read more. And a goal is I want to read this many pages a day. So my intentions for the week were to form a new routine, and to begin to incorporate new habits and no social media, create more and to read more. So like those are like very broad things that I wanted to do. My top three goals I wrote down, I don't think we need to go over them, but like they were basically tangible goals, like with numbers, specifics. Like for example, like I said, I wanted to read more. So I said I was going to read a chapter a day. Two little sections, it was more of for the week and less of for the week. So more of, I put reading my book, reading magazines, watching educational videos, painting, walking new routes, because I, I tend to get into a habit where I will walk the same walk every day. Walking is very good for you, but I've also read that walking around places that you don't know very well is good for your brain because it like activates a certain part and I'm not doing that. I put wearing something that brings me joy every day, eating well, having a bedtime, listening to music because I'm a very sensitive person and sometimes I, I punish myself like no music because I don't want my mood to be altered by something that I'm listening to, which is, I don't even know what that is. Let me know. Then I put Duolingo because I also want to get back into learning a language. I was doing a little bit of French, I've done Italian. I think I'm gonna do Italian. I'm gonna, that's gonna be my Duolingo. And then for less of this week, I put screen time because, I mean, it's just so bad. We all know this, it's just so bad. And I put specifically no social media, no looking at YouTube analytics, and no rewatching things that I've edited more than necessary. I get into this habit where I'm like rewatching a video that I edited like a thousand times, it's so ridiculous. Less of following a routine because you know what? Like these routines that I get into, they're so like regimental. I don't think they're actually benefiting me because I'm not listening to my body. It's like every night I go to sleep and it's I'm kind of like, I have all this stuff that I am telling myself I have to do that I don't actually have to do. And I think it's making me not able to fall asleep as easily and not like excited to wake up because I'm like, here we go. I don't, I don't know how I got here where it's like I get up and every day it's like, go, 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 go. It's completely in my brain. Less of dressing for function, less of watching The Real Housewives because that can't be good for you. It just can't. 
and then less of not eating because I have a roommate, but she's not here. And I have a really hard time eating when it's just me by myself. Like I don't know when to eat. I don't know when I'm hungry. It's like a whole thing. Last part of this little journal section was habits to focus on. So I put listening to my body because you know what? I calculated last week, I ended up walking 36 miles last week. And I'm pretty sure that's what people do when they're training for a marathon. Like there was no reason to do that. And I don't know if it benefited me, if it hurt me, but I certainly know that I've been really, really tired. And I think if I'm going to walk that much, I need to be doing other things as well. But anyways, and I said, do something creative every day, do something challenging every day, because th that's another problem that I'm having with my routine. I can't remember the last time that I felt challenged and not by something like outside of my control, like a train being canceled or like rainy weather, challenging myself purposely, like doing something that I know is gonna be challenging. I can't remember the last time I did that. Having a bedtime, I've gotten really bad with this. I don't have a bedtime at all. I kind of just lay there. I'm never tired, it's horrible. Consuming things in a more disciplined way because I feel like the main issue with me and my like screen time, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, is that I think I've really lacked discipline in what I consume, how I'm consuming it, why I'm consuming it. So that's my goal to get better on that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this week. And I'm gonna try to film the intentional things that I'm doing to hopefully help me help you. My intentional thing of the day is wearing something that brings me joy. On a normal day, I would have just worn like a t-shirt and my jeans and a belt, but today I've put on my fun little see-through cardigan to make it fun. It's the little things. It's the little things that stand out because I'm tired of every single day being just like the last. It's not fun. It's no way to live. I'm like terrified that I'm going to look back on my life and be like, why were you so hard on yourself? Why were you so regimental? Why didn't you do anything fun? Let's fix this routine rut. It's the next day. It's Tuesday. I thought I'd kind of check in how I did with my goals the first day and a half of setting them. Got on different jeans than I did yesterday. And I'm wearing like a fun, colorful sweater. I didn't just put on a black sweater. A gold ring, gold hoops went better with the purple. I think this is a fun outfit. So that was one of my goals, wear a fun outfit every day of the week. Yesterday, I read a chapter, I read more than a chapter of my book. So I exceeded that goal. I went for pretty much the same walk today. I changed, let's say half of my walk. The best news is that I have not watched a YouTube video and I have not gone on any social media. The only social media I have is Instagram, but I have not, I don't even have it on my phone. It's off my phone. I think I'm doing pretty well. And I know I said I wanted like one creative thing a day and then something that challenged me. I think both of those things can be part of like the other goals that I set. I think a challenge for me was not just going on my same walk putting together this outfit because this was not what I was intending on wearing. So it was a challenge. Creatively, I think this is pretty creative. Spending a week putting videos together and editing them is definitely creative. I have this journal prompt that I do every single morning. If I don't do it, I am like a disaster for the entire day. Here it is. Wednesday, Thursday, I have a little bit more time because I'm not teaching as much. I think my creative and challenging goals will probably be met more Wednesday, Thursday, and then like Saturday, Sunday. The one thing I did not do at all is I just simply didn't have time to do Duolingo yesterday. I'm determined to start that today. It's Wednesday, got on a black t-shirt. Listen, sometimes you gotta look the part. And today, for me, this is me looking the part. Can't wear something fun 
every day, but I've zhuzhed it up a little bit. My red clip. I've got on a ring and matching earrings. Good news all around. Goal wise, I went for not a completely different walk. 75% of the walk is a different route. That's a big step. And I was actively fighting myself today from going the way that I usually go. It was delightful and I haven't read yet today, but it's only three o'clock. I have, I still have time. Woke up this morning and I did a full section of Italian in Duolingo. I haven't done something creatively challenging yet today. There's still time. I still haven't watched a YouTube video. I still haven't gone on any social media. I feel like every single second of the past three days, Monday, Tuesday, most of Wednesday, has been accounted for. The goal was to stop doing that. Pretty much the only time in the past three days that I've like chilled was bedtime. I have been better about my bedtime. I'm still having a bit of a hard time getting to sleep. There's like a thousand things going on in my head. I am waking up a little bit easier. I got up today, I did laundry at 7 a.m. And then it was just like, go, 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 go. I mean, to be fair, I do have things to do. I have to teach in the afternoon. So if I want to get like personal things done, they need to be done in the morning. So tomorrow is a totally free day for me and my mental health. See what happens. It's Thursday, free day for me. I took my routine today, threw it out the window. I turned my alarm off last night. I woke up leisurely at around 8 a.m. I made a matcha and journal. That's something I can't sacrifice or else I'll go crazy. Then I did Duolingo again, and I made it all the way through unit two. Ciao, io sono Alex. I did take a semester of Italian at NYU, so this beginning part is a little bit easy for me. I painted. I did a creative challenge today. And while I did it, I didn't watch anything. I listened to Rossini overtures on Pat's record player. Things are going well. I will say sleep update. Couldn't for the life of me figure out how to fall asleep last night. It was like, who knows? a very raw moment in my journal today saying things that I have never even admitted to myself. Then I did a chapter of Italian on Duolingo, gave myself oatmeal, I did a slow yoga, I did some meditation, I was feeling great. I think this whole no social media, listening to myself, I think I'm going through a purge and every single night this week I have had a horrific, vivid, long nightmare, including someone from my past. I think I'm purging. Sometimes I know I told you guys, I like answer questions in the morning to journal. It's readable. But today I was like, you know what? This isn't how I'm feeling today. And I just word vomited for about five pages. I was saying some things that, that I would 100% never want anybody to read which is the whole purpose of a journal. You're, you're writing things that you don't wanna say, you don't want other people to know. But sometimes I treat my journal like, I know at some point it's gonna be read. But then it's like, who cares? I don't even read my journal. I write it, I close it, I turn the page. Unfortunately, you know, it's 80 degrees again today. There's only so much I can do fun outfit wise while still being appropriate for teaching. So I'm just wearing white tank top. I have this Met chain. Sorry about the white. Like I can't control the sun. I'm gonna put it on my bag. I don't know if I mentioned this. I'm also trying to be less embarrassed by things. I feel very judged all the time. And it's like, you're not, no one cares. Something that I am self-conscious of is wearing clothing items or like shoes or anything on my person that is loud, audibly loud. Like a loud shoe, a loud chain. Somewhere along the line, someone pointed these things out to me in a negative way. I really took it to heart. I will see you tomorrow morning for our last little bit of this experiment.
we're gonna have to try something new next week if this didn't really work out like I wanted it to. routine revamp experiment and I can honestly say that I feel more clear-headed, more well-rested, motivated, energetic, and just a little bit lighter than I did at the beginning of the week. So I think this was a success. Do I think it could use some fine-tuning? Yes, that's what next week is for. I've pretty much stuck to all of my goals. I'm cruising through Duolingo. I haven't gone on a walk every single day, and if I have, I've changed it up a little bit. I've definitely been better with my bedtime. Not only have I been going to bed earlier, not been watching like bad stuff, I was following a sleep meditation, which really, really helped. I also have been doing some meditations during the day, like yoga followed by meditation. So that's something that wasn't a goal of mine, but I ended up doing it and it ended up working. I still think there is work to be done. I think I'm gonna continue this into next week. I'm definitely going to think a little bit about what worked, what didn't, what I could add, what I could take away and go on from there. This definitely helped me filming every single day giving an update. I hope maybe it helped you too. I hope maybe it inspired you. It's the perfect time to revamp your life, your routine, build new habits, because we're coming into a new season. And as the seasons change, so do we. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. I'm headed to Trader Joe's. I think I'm gonna make some soup. And that's my big plan for the day.